Welcome. So today it's something a little clear out and I thought I'd just do a little um, video on these three Casio remote control watches. These all were released around the early 1990 mark. So 19, this one definitely was 1992. The rest came out in between that as well. So let's take a look at this one here. This is the Casio 30B. So CMD 40 30B. And um, yeah, so look, so this is the design of it. It's just a square screen, four buttons this side, three buttons this side, and four buttons in the front. And this one here just basically just only did. Um, Let's have a little look here. So if we click select, did the, let me zoom in. This did the TV and VCR. And that was it. And what other features has it got? So it's also got um, a stopwatch, alarm, and set. And that's about it. On the VCR, you could fast forward the VHS tape, rewind. On the TV, you got the volume up and volume down. And obviously, turning on and off, you can stop the VCR as well and play. So, all the features except for record. And the TV, um, you basically got the channel, channel up, channel down. And has he got the volume on here? Yeah, the volume is here. These two buttons up and down. So he controls everything. Um, this one here has the infrared on the top. A little green button here. And that's that one. This one I think was 1994 it was released. So that's that one. And the other next one we'll look at will be this one here. This one's slightly different. They made it a more a bolder move. So it was more curved. These buttons here really do stick out. If you look on this side as well, see them here protruding quite a bit. Um, so this one features an eight digit calculator. So that's the calculator. Um, there's your stopwatch, and that's it. Well, actually, I think actually this is the alarm. I don't think I don't think even. Um, this one I think also had the cable. Let's have a little look. Oh, let's go back here first. So you had TV cable that's it it didn't have the uh let's have a little look here a minute oh you can do the tv video and cable and yeah so look there's the power button of up here so let's turn it on so you can have a look let's put on tv this is the little, the little cursor up here on the little box power that's the enter, the codes, channel up and down. Here is the volume. Um, yeah, the difference is, is they made it into a calculator as well. It's a great little design though. It's not my favorite. My favorite is this one. Now, this, is a, this is a beautiful watch. I just love the design. So this one has a lot more features. So let me show you. So. First, the calculator, eight digits, alarm, stopwatch, and um, so if you click here, this was the volume up and down. Um, TV, you can choose between TV and video, and the power button, which was down here, I just think really made the watch. Um, yeah, this is the probably the best design. It's more seamless as well, as opposed to this one. Let me zoom out a little bit. Let 
This one's a lot more sleeker, and I love the, what they've done done to this part here. They've sort of flared out this arch, this arch, um, just flared out this part of the watch. Red button on the bottom, which I think looks amazing. This one didn't have any of that. Just had basically just push buttons. Um, yeah, this is far my favourite out of all of them. And let me show you this one here. So keep this here for a minute. And I've also got an original one of these from 1992. It is box unused. Hold on. This is this is what what they came out like when they were new. This is when they first come out. This one here as well is just untouched, unused. Still got the cellophane or plastic coating on the top here as well. Um, the original box as well. Which remark which our learning function can go daily alarm. And there's all the features here. It's a 40B and a little booklet. These booklets are very rare. You normally get the ones, the same booklets, but longer. And it's a 1174. This is a 1175. very rare in this condition in this box shall I say you can get these ones in the long boxes they come with but to have a box like this with all the coating on it as well super rare CMD 40 yeah very nice let me just put this back up here I mean, I would show you working on on TV because I've got it programmed to my TV. And, it, and by the way, this I've not tested any other other ones, but this one definitely works on modern day TVs. And I've heard as well that they do also work on um, opening gates, TV, radio stations, stuff like that. Um, yeah, my favourite. Also, who likes these? Um, these stands I got here. Amazing, aren't I? I found these in Italy. Quite rare. Let me show you a few other retro boxes you can get the old Casios from. Let me show you. So it was. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. This is one of them. This is an old Casio box. And to unclip them, you pull stuff down. Good. The watch goes in here. Slots in. These are definitely 80s, early 80s. And this is the other box as well, they came in. And the watch obviously went in here and your booklets went on the bottom here this this all comes comes out all this here your little booklet goes in there this slots in here there's a sponge and um yeah the watches that was in here was um like the gold type let me i, I think i've got one to hand but it'll be something like this here would have gone inside here or one of these look this is the md40 there yeah and um the other one was that gray box i showed you yeah lots of retro parts if there, i've got lots of watches if there's anything you need a more in-depth view let me show you another one by the way as we're here stay there
ding 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 this one here there's the other box that came in there's only actually these three boxes um this is a, an orange one which is quite rare to come and come and see these let me zoom in and show you This one, um, 1986, I think it came out. Um, so let's stop here. Split it. Yeah, that's it. Let's stick it back in its box. Now you want to see something else, a little bit of a quirky. How about this? This is um, twin graphs from 1988. The reason why they're in here is I've got no straps for them and one of them has got no back. Um, I'm after a case for that one. Um, yeah, it's either a case or try and get one that's not working and swap the case over. But that's what the internal bits look like. They're both in good condition. Both work very well. And, um, yeah, I've got quite a few of these. I've got quite a few of these as well. If you like an in-depth review on these twin graphs, let me know. And um, I'll do you one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.